Hey everyone, I just have a real simple video for you to show you how to create nested for loops using the outer iteration variable inside of the range for the inner for loop. So if that doesn't mean anything to you, then let's just code it out and try to go through a simple example. So first I want to print a square. I want to print zero through nine and I want to do that 10 times. So here's how we would do this. We would say for I in range and pass in 10. So that's going to go zero through nine. And for each iteration, I want to do that again. So for J in range 10, that'll go zero through nine. We're going to print J and we're going to say end is just a space. And after that, we're going to print just a new line to get it on the next line. So running this, this is what we get. We get zero through nine and we get it 10 times. What we can do is we can shorten the amount printed each iteration by depending on this outer variable i inside of range. So we can use i for the starting position or the ending position. So as an example, let's use it for the starting position. In that situation, we would say i comma 10. So we're going to go from i up to and excluding 10. Running it, here's what we get. We get this triangle-like structure. The first iteration, since i is zero, we go zero to nine. The next iteration, i is one, so we go one to nine. And it keeps going up and up until we get eight, nine, and then just nine. And we can do a similar thing using i as the ending position, and that's going to be exclusive. So now when we do it, we get a similar thing, but it's in the opposite direction, and it ends at eight, actually. And maybe that throws you off just a little bit, but let me explain. When we put 10 here, that's exclusive, so the highest is nine. So when i is nine, the last iteration, we pass that into here, and the nine is excluded, so we get all the way up to eight. If you needed that nine in there, you could just say i plus one. And there you go. So that's how you make triangle structures, and you may see this in your development career. Maybe not, but eh, it's okay. <laughs> So next up, I want to talk about nested while loops. Should be pretty fun, so stay tuned and I'll see you then.